During the Olympics, an exceptional amount of media came into NRK's news and sports center and was also distributed again. With the exception of live streams, all media received needed to be handled. We have a lot of photographers out now in the field and um, all of those are delivering uh, the stories into the NRK FTP servers. Those stories are uh, transcoded automatically through the David system and the Diga porter uh, and the user doesn't need to think about it. It just appears on the editing system and they are free to use them. After transcoding and editing, media could be distributed to the three publishing platforms, TV, radio and new media. One of NRK's biggest success stories is the NRK Net TV. And the Net TV is an application that makes video available for the web. Uh, what happens is that uh, first Diga Porter pulls all the stories from the uh, production system. Uh, then all these uh, are converted to different kind of Windows Media MPEG-4 uh, files by the Diga lines. Uh, the journalist is just writing one word into the production system and then everything is happening automatically. So for them, it's an uh, invisible system and it just appears uh, on the web when they're using the publishing system there. Uh, the opposite thing would be a lot of manual processes and it will take us a lot of time and a lot of money to do the same stuff. Okay, what we do with uh, the David transcoding system is very much building new uh, processes that makes life easier for the users. Because if you need to both move media, transcode media, and place it on other places, and also probably rename uh, the files during this process, this will be a tremendous difficult task for all the users. NRK is transcoding and moving more than 200,000 files a year with the Diga Porter and Diga Lion systems. That would be an impossible number if we should do that manually.